Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Namrata Upadhya. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist at Aster RV Hospital, Bangalore. So I get a lot of patients coming with questions about short stature in these children. In this series of videos, we are going to discuss different aspects of short stature. So another thing I often get to hear is that, oh doctor, my grandparents and myself are very short. So is my child also going to be short? So what do I need to know? Is there something which I can do? That's a very good question indeed. So as we all know, there are key determinants of our height and one of the most important things is our genetic potential or the potential with which we are born with. So this is determined by our parent's height and we calculate something called the mid-parental height based on the father's height and the mother's height. With this, we arrive at something called a target height range. So if your child is still short compared to the rest of his peers, his or her peers, but growing within the target range, it may still be normal for your child. So for this, we need to check the parent's height. So the other things is there are some normal variations of height, which is called as constitutional delay in growth in puberty and familial short stature. So in these kind of situations, there is often a family history of late bloomers, of the parents being short to begin with, especially the father, and who tends to gain height suddenly after high school. Or also there could be other members in the family who are also short. So in these situations, your child needs to be examined and evaluated before we can make this diagnosis. So for this, it's important to visit your pediatrician and your pediatric endocrinologist. Here we are at Aster RV, where we can plot your child's growth, make a comprehensive assessment and give you a proper diagnosis. I recently heard from a mother who said that her daughter, who was gaining height very rapidly during the last year, somehow has seemed to slow down in her height gain and she retained, recently attained her first period. So she was concerned whether her child will still grow and she also wanted to know if there was something she could do so that her child could grow a little taller. So let me explain this. So there are few important hormones that are necessary for a child's growth at different stages. The main ones being the thyroid hormones, the growth hormone, the insulin, and something called pubertal hormones, which is testosterone in boys and estrogen in girls. So different hormones have different effects on growth at different stages of life. As a general rule, puberty is a time where the maximum growth spurt occurs, that is a boy or girl gains the maximum height potential when they hit puberty. And this is also called as the pubertal growth spurt. So what happens in girls is normally by the time they have attained their first period, most of their bone growth is complete, which is because of the influence of the hormone estrogen. After they attain their first period, the rate of growth naturally slows down and there is nothing to worry about it. So it's important to not to have unrealistic expectations of gaining height post puberty. It's important to support your child with all the moral support and the right information needed at this time.